FTF TV, where we bring you the latest in talent, art, and fashion news. Brought to you by FTF Entertainment, your one-stop media shop. Today we're joined with Mr. Q, an up-and-coming poet and rapper down here in South Florida. How you doing? I'm doing quite all right. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Is it okay that I called you a rapper? Well, you can call me a rapper. I just feel it's just a label of what someone does. Um, I'm pretty much open and out there. I'm an artist. I cover a wide range of things, uh, poetry, if you want to call it rap, hip-hop, whatever you want to call it, I got it covered. Tell us about Q. Okay, about Q. I would say um, I'm the average African-American growing out of Liberty City, uh, which you would call the hood or ghetto. Same thing. Um, I'm just trying to live life. I decided I wanted to rap, therefore I'm doing it. Uh, I would tell you be confident in anything you do because confidence will take you far. Okay. So why rap and why poetry? Uh, actually, tell the truth, uh, i seen a few of my friends doing it, uh, actually going to studios. I used to just follow them to the studio and paid attention to them and I realized I was like, it wasn't that hard so I just decided to do it for myself. So um, God bless me with a talent and I'm going to use it. Of course, for sure. Okay. Is there any albums or anything in the near future you have coming up you want to tell us about? Let's see, albums. Uh, you can get a mixtape from me. Uh, you can go to my website, uh, myspace.com, M-I-S-T-T-A-Q. Check me out on there. You can check out my music. It's the mixtape. And if you really want the mixtape, you can actually contact me, Renzi23, R-E-N-Z-Y 23, at gmail.com. Contact me. I'm very approachable. Approachable, available, no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, for all the all ladies that want to know. So if there is one word in the entire dictionary that could sum up Q, what would that word be? Q, I would go with quintessential. Nah, that's just rhyme. Uh, <laughs> I would, no, truthfully, I would say confidence. I'm trying to bring back that feeling that young black male, just because you don't have anything doesn't mean you can't achieve those things. So I bring back confidence. Uh, I'm confident in everything I speak in my rhymes. You can check me on anything in my rhymes. I only talk about the truth, even if people try to hide it. All right, that's what you got to look forward for from Mr. Q. So I'm going to step back, you know, because I'm MC myself. No, really. I'm going to step back and let you do something for us. I want you to give them a little bit about what you're about, your music. You ready for this? Uh, I'm an MC. I'm a poet. But uh, y'all call this whichever you want to call it. They got me scared to be myself. Scared to be myself. They got me scared to be myself because the world, it won't agree. I can only be one person, that one person's only me. You don't have to understand, just agree to disagree. I was raised in my household as a full-blown Christian. As a little child, I never knew something was missing. My mama always told me pray and ask for forgiveness. I was a young little something, always off up in the mischief. I had a young attitude and I never paid attention, but now I'm fully grown and I sit back and listen. I try to gain for better perception and position, but Oh, now you think this man's tripping. Cause I live a different lifestyle than the life you're living. I understand the purpose and the reason for religion. It is structure. Believe what you want to. I don't want to interrupt you. Cause most of my love for the world, it goes to mother. Three sisters and four brothers. The rest of my love trickles down to my lover. I give her that burn slow love like Usher. And I'm commanding all my legions like a motherfucking custard. I said custard, not them yellow stains on y'all shirt, man, the mustard. Mustard? So please don't ever judge a book by its cover because the pages within the paper will cut you. I can't help that my father was a drug dealer and hustler. I'm real to this poetry and rapping, not a sucker. So if you hating on what I'm saying, well then I'm saying to screw you. And if you loving what I'm saying, well then I'm saying I love you. Because the words that you have just heard have come from this intelligent black brother. Thank you. Oh yeah, we don't snap in poetry. I gotta let y'all know they don't snap in poetry. That they clap these days. Oh nine, they clap. For sure. Just for the oh nine. Just for the oh nine. Thank you so much, Mr. Key, for coming on the show. Okay, we love your music. We look forward to seeing more of you. Oh, most definitely. You'll see me anyway. If you, you won't find me on YouTube. Uh, I think it's kind of diluted right now. So you'll catch me on the sound waves. You can catch me at any open mic in Liberty City, North Miami, South Florida. I'm now going to Broward, too. And you know what, too? He's going to be coming to a city near you. 
For sure. I'm going to be victory now. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. All right, Q. You ready? Thank you for joining us for another episode of FTF TV. You can find us and all of our featured interviews on FTFENT.com. And if you're out there looking to get signed, get seen, or get heard, check us out on FTFindustry.com. See you next time.